You're gonna be on the chicken coop today, little boy. <laughs> Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're gonna build a mobile chicken coop. I hope you guys enjoy. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a long video, so sit tight, grab your coffee, grab your cold beverage, whatever you have. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna show you how we're building the first egg mobile on the Stony Ridge Farm. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you this well, you can kiss. All right, guys and gals, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. This is your first time or your 50 millionth time here. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back here on the farm with me. So all around us is a 150-acre first-generation farm project, and what we have here is an old hay wagon. So I picked up three of these old hay wagons, and basically this is just used to transport hay. It has a tongue on it, which is sitting in the grass, and that thing's been parked in the grass here for about a year now. It's really cool. It's got old Chevrolet hub caps on it however <laughs> they've seen better days so if you look up underneath here there's a steel frame we're gonna pull this out of the bushes here the wood on it is pressure treated pine but it's several years old and it's not in the best of shape but this is gonna be the floor of our mobile chicken coop now do I have a design in my head yes do I have a plan no I don't. <laughs> we have some pretty cool special nest boxes that we're gonna use, so without further ado, we're just gonna hook to this. You're gonna get some cool time lapse, and then as we go around it, at the end, we'll explain everything we're doing or everything we did in detail. Awesome. Let's pull it over here in front of the big shop. This is the world's most powerful blower from Husqvarna. It is the Leaf Blaster and it blows 200 miles an hour. So let's blow off all the debris here. Gotta move the cows, they're gonna worry me to death. We move the cows every 12 hours. We got 42 Angus beef cows and a donkey named Tammy. She comes through last to make sure all the babies go through. You guys ready? Woo! Yeah, you ready to move? All right, let's do it. Let me get all the wood at the post out of the ground here, kids. There you go. Pasture raised the way nature intended, guys. These cows have no medications, no problems, no issues. Check it out. Moving them twice a day, they never have to graze next to their own manure. Look at all that clover. All right, let's get back to work. Now I've got to assemble these awesome nest boxes from Hen Gear. We got six of these, two for each mobile egg mobile.
here it is. These are the nesting boxes in here. This is a roll out for the eggs. This goes up via solar. I'll show you that in a little bit. And the eggs will be accessible on the outside right there. Awesome. All right, guys, we're into day number two here. Day two is going to be building the frame and hopefully we'll get this thing finished. I know for a fact we're gonna have to get on the sawmill. Now, as I'm working through this, this is a smaller coop than the other coops are gonna be, so we won't have an A-framed roof. This will be moving throughout the pasture and we don't get a very heavy snow load here. So we're just gonna put one single flat roof on this. So it'll be a flat roof structure, simple, easy and it's never going to be parked on completely flat ground so the water will run off of it for sure what i'm going to do is i'm going to frame this up and i've been scratching my head a little bit and i'm going to take you around real quick and show you the hen gear nest boxes they're super cool so here is my thought process and we have mounted these hen gear nest boxes this will be a wall right here okay so the wall will come right up here there'll be wood on the face there'll be wood here and there'll be a tin roof on the top and this again is the hen gear nest box you can access it from the back side so you can clean it out that's where the chicks will lay and this is where the eggs will come out so the eggs will roll out simply right in here and we'll be able to access all of our eggs from the outside of the building so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna frame this up six feet high so it's gonna be six feet from here to the roof so I can get in there and clean it out there will be a double door on this end right here and this is the tail end so there'll be a big double door two six foot double doors right there and again we're going to run out of lumber so we're going to have a little bit of saw milling action here in just a little bit this is a chicken coop it's not the Taj Mahal and this is the first one that I built so I'm going to learn something over time with this one before I build the next ones in the fall right on by the end of this video the chicks will be in this mobile coop. I'm gonna talk about the tools that we're gonna to be using. So this is a Senko nail gun. It doesn't take gas, it is just a nail gun. Simply put, battery, turn it on right there, and we're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna be firing nails into this rough cut pine. This is true two by four right off of the sawmill. We also have a Senko finish nailer that we're gonna be using to nail up the trim and all that stuff. So. We'll have wood on the outside. We're gonna mill all this up here in this video today. It's gonna to be super cool. So we'll have one buys on the outside, maybe even three quarter inch thick siding, and it's gonna be put up wet. So when it dries, it'll have air gaps and it'll keep airflow through the coop. So this is rough cut lumber. I've got to square everything up and you're just gonna see me get busy here.
All right, guys, so we are on day three now, day three, because I had to mill all this lumber. So the logs you saw me milling yesterday, you'll get a shot of those right now, were logs that fell down on the side of the road here on the farm. They were all dead standing trees that fell over, and this is all the lumber we got. So we got a bunch more two by fours right here, tons of two by fours. We got trim, we've got more two by fours, and we've got our siding pieces and we've got various sizes for the siding this again is all southern yellow pine and uh, we did three quarter inch on the siding some of this will be used for trim and it'll have a nice rustic look yeah baby is this going to freak you out as i cut these or are we going to be okay but Okay, most of the framework is complete here. I do have to put wire along the top edge right here. So we're gonna do two foot of wire along the top edge and we'll put another one of these braces at about two feet all the way across, which will help to sturdy this up. Now, my door idea is to put a big double door at the back here so I can swing both barn doors open, but I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do here. So it'll be interesting to see. We need to make sure it's square. So the measurement from here to here needs to be the same as the measurement from here to here. What we've got here is always flush on the outside so our board siding can fit on there without the hitch. It's gonna be awesome. Oh. <laughs> so we're all about reusing and repurposing here on the farm. My neighbor gave me this shed door about three years ago and I knew I'd need it for something. So this will be the door to the chicken coop. Now, when we flip it up, premium handle premium hinges but this is not going to match the motif of the chicken coop so we're going to have to disassemble this just put the frame up and then we'll finish it out in wood and i think i'm going to put a screened door on this i'm not positive yet i don't want water to blow in on the chicken so i'm scratching my head a little bit about that i know i'll have wire all the way up along the top edge right here so that the coop can breathe because we got to keep fresh air circulating when we put the siding boards on, they're three quarter inch thick, knotty pine. We're gonna butt them all the way up against each other. They're wet. They're gonna dry and that'll leave a gap of about eh, a half inch, quarter of an inch in between each board so that this coop can breathe, okay? We don't have very harsh winters here in North Carolina. So breathing is of the utmost importance. So let's deconstruct <laughs> the already very well constructed shed door here. This will be fun.
So in order to establish proper ventilation in the coop, I'm putting a two foot roll of chicken wire all the way around the top. Now it's just me, <laughs> so I gotta get creative. And what I came up with was putting nails up here to hold it in place. And that's just hanging on a nail until I can take my stapler, pull it down tight and staple it. Now our boards will come right up to the bottom of the chicken wire right here and that'll give it a pretty cool aesthetic and we'll get good airflow and I put an overhang on here to keep water out because water intrusion is an issue we want it to stay dry in here because the floor is already pretty rotten anyway so very cool let's get busy We ran out of lumber. I can't believe we ran out of lumber, guys. I gotta go into the woods, drop another tree, toss it on the mill, and finish milling up the rest of this lumber. These uh, three quarter inch boards did awesome, but as you can see, we're missing a gap here, and we've still got the door to do. Awesome. Guys, just so you know some of the features of this hen gear nest box, this folds up and folds down. We're gonna upgrade these shortly with a motor that will bring them up and down. So they'll go down for daytime and then come up in the evening time, which will keep the chickens from pooping in their nest box or roosting in their nest box. Really, really cool setup. I had to phone a friend because we have three pieces of tin to put on this roof, maybe four pieces, and I can't lift it all up and do it all on my own. So got a friend coming and we're just about done. Let's go get in the woods, drop some trees, throw them on the mill. This is the steel fuel injected 500i.
attacked. So there's the ever-present challenge of cutting metal without hurting yourself. This is a Milwaukee Fuel uh, brushless M12 cutter. Really cool. Uh, I don't know what Milwaukee calls it, <laughs> but we're going to put it to work here. It's a brand new tool, and I don't know if it's going to work right, but we're going to try it. Here we go, boys and girls. kicks butt man wow this tool is awesome holy cow good job milwaukee fuel i don't know what it's called but i'll post a link to it <laughs> Whoa, daddy, check this out, guys. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable results here. This is the run to get the birds up in there. These are the nesting boxes from Hen Gear. These are all the roosting poles, nice corrugated roofing left over from the barn project. Nice door, fit and finish. I've still got a little trim work to do. Nothing super special. We got two feet of uh, chicken wire up here to keep good airflow. This is the nest box from Hen Gear. You can push this way and clean it out. This will be secured, by the way. And our eggs roll out. So the chicken lazy the egg. They come right through here, roll out, and that's all we have to do to gather the eggs. This will house 100 white leghorn hens. Super cool, guys. We'll be pulling this around with the ATV or the side-by-side. -side. And I have a little tractor that I might be trying with it, too. So that is the design. This is... 12 feet long by six feet wide, maybe seven feet wide. And uh, I can't say enough about it. This is a learner. This is the one I need to learn on. I need to learn how to build this so I can perfect it on the next two chicken tractor trailers. So guys, thanks a lot for joining me. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Love to have you back. This has been a long video. It's been a great time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you got some ideas for your property. We'll see you in the next video on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Hit that subscribe button. All right. Woo!
done. It's done. Yeah. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. <laughs> Fade a little bit. Of course, I get a phone call. Hello? So I'm calling because we're offering it. Are you the homeowner? Uh, first, let me confirm. Are you a real person or am I talking to a computer? Yes, I'm a real person. I wondered if you could give me your personal phone number so I could call you back. Is there any way you could do that? Great! <laughs> Go get him, Tammy! <laughs>